जेनर एंड स्टूडेंट्स इन द अर्लियर पार्ट वी हैव रेड दैट द हाउ द शी एक्सप्रेस द फीलिंग ऑफ फादर एंड एक्सप्रेस द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ दर फैमिली दैट हाउ दे शिफ्ट टू द हॉल एंड एंड हर ग्रैंड मास इलनेस एंड आफ्टर द डेथ ऑल्सो एंड देन she just she was waited for her result and she expressed that the math teacher didn't like her so let's uh, and give her, give her to the uh, topic to write an essay the chatter box so what she wrote in that in, uh, in the topic of chatter box let's read in her next paragraph uh, and in the last paragraph she also expressed that that the uh how the extra work as a punishment his the old fellow the math teacher gave her the different different kind of punishment different different kind of things and she took it she has to do it she had to do it and uh, when she started to work on it she uh, that evening after i had finished the rest of my homework here and her friend said that when she uh, come across to notebook and made that reminder of the essay after she had finished the rest of her homework she began thinking about the topic then she when she, she finished her homework she started to thinking about the topic while chewing the tip of my tip of her fountain pen she just chewing this is the habit of the many of the students among you also the chewing the pen tip and by chewing the pen tip she was just thinking and think uh, she thought about that that what she has to write in the gesture of the significant of the person in deep thinking uh, this is the gesture of the person in deep thinking when we uh, we thought something uh, we just uh, put ourselves in a deep thought we just lost in a mind we just lost the action so this is about that only this is the action of the deep thinking she expressed that and the while anyone could mention random stuff written on the snake sake of the filling page she wanted to present concentrated argument in support of talking because she don't want to apologize of it in spite of she was very talkative and her master don't like her just because of her talkative nature but she don't want to oppose it she just want to support the talkative person and just just want to write the uh, uh, write in a supportive way write to write just want to write the things which can be support to the topic and she mentioned that she will try to better herself as a student but talking in something that cannot be eliminated completely means she mentioned in over there that she will uh, be good student but she never but this could be this can't be eliminated in her life that she can't talk and this is because she is got an inherited trait from her mother and this is how she ended up writing three page on topic she just expressed that this is her inherited quality and she can't leave it mr kissing had a good laugh at our, my argument when he roared he read uh, this all the things among the class he just laughed and did not stop t- talking in the next session and he never stop her to the next uh, in all the session all the next lesson he didn't stop her to talk he gave her yet another assignment as punishment the topic was an incredible chatterbox so what is that now she got again uh, he just mr kissing is just irritated with her talking habit and just gave her the extra extra homework and then uh, it's not like that only he didn't quite uh, didn't quit that time and just gave her again another topic that anne frank as a punishment to write an essay untitled that quack 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 said mistress chatter box the class roared i had laughed too everybody was laughed over there and uh, she was to the but she has to show she, that she exhausted because she exhausted already she exhausted due to already she had brought the same topic 
twice in the class uh, uh, but again she got the same but she just thought that uh, she had to pretend to be amused too after writing twice on the similar topic she ran out of the thoughts thus her friend also sane who was in good poetry good at poetry offered her to help in her to write in a rhythm the whole assessment is assignment scenario was to make anna feel ashamed but she made sure that she gave an effective reply to him i finished my poem she finished the poem and it was beautiful she thought that did she finally wrote her third assignment and in the form of a poem which turned to be a, out to be great she wrote the satire that father swan bit his three baby duckling to the death because of their noisy nature to her good luck the professor took it lightly and took it joke like what she want to express like that only and the professor recited the entire poem in front of the class while giving his own remarks and uh, in a very proper manner and the author being fortunate enough talking uninterruptedly and the, then after that after that uh, situation she did it, he never stopped her up to the talking and this is the fortunate enough that that she never interrupted he never interrupted her in while in talking and the incident without any further homework and any punish as a punishment he stopped giving her punishment as a um, stop giving him extra homework and not only stopped the giving the extra homework on the country mr kissing is also involved in making jokes cracking jokes and every now and then in the front of every class yes this is the spirit of anna frank so before uh, ending with this chapter i just want to like throw your attention again in her life and in words in the real this is the video of the real life or the real picture took by that time the when the holocaust was happened growing up and frank excelled in school a gifted writer she wrote short stories in secret her teachers described her as outspoken funny intelligent and mature for her age may 1940 nazis invade the netherlands and begin persecuting jews june 1942 anne receives a notebook for her 13th birthday july 1942 Fearing for their lives, the Franks abandon their home and move into a secret room. The small secret room was behind a bookcase in her father's factory. Under penalty of death, friends secretly smuggled food and supplies to help the family. To pass the time, Anne wrote down her deepest thoughts in her diary. Some days, her entries reflected her deep despair and longing for the outside world. Other days, they detailed the suffering Jews faced under Nazi rule. The small act of writing helped maintain her spirits and would one day inspire the world. Soon, the Franks were joined by the von Pels family and their shy teenage son, Peter. Anne started to fall in love with Peter, but fearing her father's dis- 1944, a security guard investigates a burglary at the factory and notices a strange bookcase. Betrayed, the Franks were arrested by the secret police, thrown onto a train, and forcibly deported to Auschwitz, the biggest and most notorious concentration camp. Children younger than 15 were sent directly to the gas chambers. But Anne was spared, having only just turned 15. Still, she had her head shaved and was tattooed with an identification number. She was forced to haul rocks and dig earth. Anne did her best to stay strong and helpful, caring for the weak and entertaining the sick. But broke down crying as she watched young children being led to the gas chambers, housed in overcrowded barracks with poor sanitary conditions. Disease was rampant. Anne's sister fell from her bunk and, in her weakened state, died. Anne died soon after. The exact date is not known. 
January 1945. Auschwitz is liberated by Soviet troops. Anne's father, Otto, survived his time in the concentration camp. He returned home only to discover that his entire family had perished at the camp. Devastated, he wondered whether he had the courage to live without them. It was then that a friend handed him a small book. The friend had taken care of the Franks while they were in hiding and had saved Anne's diary. Otto gathered all his strength before opening his daughter's diary. Moved by Anne's words and her hope for a better world, Otto compiled her entries into a book. The diary was translated into more than 65 languages and is considered to be one of the most widely read books in the world. Time magazine selected Anne as one of their 100 most important people of the century. Anne's story is a reminder to always believe in faith, hope, and love, even in the face of hate. Yes, live better. Always we should think about to live better or the think about the better. Whatever the situation was there, we have to think positive. We have to think about the further of the life. And among of that, we have to think about that nothing, uh, that this will be changed. She never lose her hope at the last till the last breath of her life. And at last, she wrote in the diary, yours, Annie. I just told you that she took it as her own person, own good friend. This is just a small part took from her diary. The whole diary is just something else. And the, this is, on the contrary, this is the opposite of the opposite in nature, direction or a meaning. That everything which happened in a, some time, things going to our uh, opposite to our nature opposite to our direction and what do you want to say opposite our meaning but we have to positive and we have to think better thank you so much i hope you like to watch it and you like this chapter most <laughs>